Hey guys, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of Voice Bootcamp Incorporation. In this Deploying Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise Scripting Self-Study Guide, we're going to talk about Introduction to Cisco UCCE Script Editor. The Script Editor is part of Cisco UCCE Administration Tool, which is included in your administration and data server. When you install the administration and data server, you will have a new folder created on your desktop or even on your uh, uh, menu, program menu, called Unified CCE Administration Tools, just like the one we have right here. And when you click on that, you have a small utility called a Script Editor. So that is basically the compiler that allows you to, a development tool that allows you to uh, have an environment where you can create your script application. Now, the script editors, when you open, of course, there is nothing in there other than a very blank environment. Uh, if you want to either open one, a new one, you can click on the open. Uh, if you're uh, sorry, open, if you want to create a new one, you want to go to the new script. In either case, when you click on the open from file new or clicking on this little button, you'll be given two choices. What kind of script do you wish to write or develop? Routing a script or administrative script? The routing script is basically a script that is handling the calls that are delivered by a routing client, such as call manager or CVP. Now the administrative script on the other hand are script that are initiated within the server on a specific interval or period of time. An example would be, for, exa uh, for example, if you want to make an outbound call on every one hour. So you can have the script, of course, outbound campaign and all this stuff configured. But the administrative script will then initiate the call from internal to outside. Because the routing script has to be invoked somehow. It has to be invoked because by through dialing a four-digit number or ten-digit number. Whereas administrative script are executed based on certain time frame it doesn't it's not associated with the phone number for example per se so let's go ahead and create a routing script and when you create a routing script the very first thing in the script editor will be called start node these are called node these boxes uh, green color sorry blue color block boxes and this node will obviously the beginning of your script and if you look at the white background it's kind of white which basically tells you that the script is in currently editing mode on the top right cor uh, left corner you see the name of the script which is script one the reason behind that is it hasn't been saved yet all customers unless you specify a particular instance version number 001 either new or is a new file and edit it it's in editing mode if I go ahead and say do not um, well, I can't go to the saving it so right now from here start I'm going to start adding my different components based on my script based on what I want to do if I right click on the start node the only thing I can do here is probably let's say create a label sorry uh, not a label but rather description we'll say my first script or you can even define an application name voice bootcamp help desk that way when I'm looking at it I know what this script is supposed to do just to give an idea you know what I mean it's not a very big uh, concept thing now to add additional node there are many different nodes available by right clicking on the white area and then click on new object that gives you access to all the Java beans or component that are available that allows you to use in order to design your application and obviously every script has to have an end at the end of course you know to terminate the call and then between them start and end you do your other activities such, such as arithmetic calculation retrieving data pushing data so and so new object allows you to define many different um, be, uh, Java beans or node that does different things some of them will be covered in our, in our lecture on video so right now, what I, want, what I want to do, when a call comes in to start, I would like to just send the calls to an agent. So I right click and go to agent. 
and after and then I'm going to connect the start to the agent and I'm going to select an agent by cl clicking on right click on the agent tab select the agent from India cluster select a root and click OK so root is basically a logical connection to the peripheral device now I could also say that if I go to property right now see what happened is when the call comes to agent there's nothing else in there I cannot connect that to the end so I could try to go and then say allow connection for each target and then from there it ends the script so call goes here to the agent then to the end for example once you have developed your application how simple however simple or however complex it is the next job is to upload it uh, to the engine so we do that by first saving the script so we'll call this the scripts um, intro introduction our next step is to now map the script to the call number but before I do that I want to validate so if I click on this validate right there so script is validation now once you validate the script uh, and save it obviously we need to map this script to a number that we need to dial this is called the mapping the script to DN number now we do that by going to uh, script menu go to call type manager and you can select which number user is going to dial in order to execute this particular script so we simply dial let's say 2000 and then once well we already have something in there let me delete the existing one and so when I when I dial the number 2000 I'm going to add the call type so this call type voice CT will be mapped to this particular script and it will run on a schedule so I need to select what schedule do I want to run so first of all I need to run this script called test script which I believe uh, it's called no sorry it's not even saved is it saved yet oh it is saved so save as what script introduction so I'll schedule will select a script introduction right there <coughs> and then click OK so now I'm ready to receive a call okay so to test this call right now <coughs> I have logged in as an agent VJ Mali will open one of my phone Now, one other thing we can do in the script editors, if you click on, right click on anywhere in the desk, uh, development area and click on monitor script, what you're going to be able to do is see if the call is passing through this, uh, uh, the steps. So once we have the phone registered and what we're gonna do, we're gonna dial 2000. So the call was successful as you can see and we sh after a few seconds we should see this number right here increase by one so as you can see that by having that number incrementing by one that means that there is a call passing through and this is one of the way we do troubleshooting in you see in the scripting to see if the call is going from this steps to this steps and then what happened to the next all right, so that's uh, basically the uh, the call flow of a basic scripting. Within the editors, if you click on the script editors, there's something called uh, <clears throat> display note ID, which is to show you this number. If I uncheck this, you'll see there is no identification or numbers assigned to each node. You can always add a node ID to just to see which is the node number so that you can uh, create a kind of a documentation saying that node 3 doing this, node 3, node 4 doing that, for example. Now, the script editors also have one very neat tool called Call Tracer, which allows us to test a call to see what will be, uh, how the system will behave. For example, I can use the routing client, Call Manager. I can say that the user is going to dial 2000 and the agent is going to be selected, for example, depending on which um, routing client we're using. So let's say 
Tim Cook and then I'm going to send a call what will happen is it will show me the steps as it takes place it says agent number three will be selected and sending calls to dynamic label so 315 uh, 3105 that is the extension of this agent right here as you can see 3105 extension of the agent VJ Mali that number will be returned so sending calls to dynamic label 3105 which will be returned back to the call manager and the call manager will then decide how to route that call to 3105 so call tracer can be a very useful tool just to do a quick validation of your script is not the most uh, effective way of testing script but it is something uh, almost useful enough for you to be able to find out how your script will perform all right so that's pretty much it to show you an introduction of uh, script editors and you will get to learn few other features as we go along and complete the remaining labs